Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at a shorter video to be fair, even though we have again 10 battles here. We're going to have the shadow variant of Kadabra, as you're going to see already. It does a ton of damage. And this Pokemon is actually something that I kind of want to showcase myself or like wanted to see it for myself. But there was a different idea that I also have that I'm also going to do eventually as well for this Kelpia, which we're going to see as well on the channel, which is kind of similar to this one. But this is already looking pretty promising so far. We're also going to have the Surviper and the Lead here, which is going to have access to a Poison Fang as well as Crunch, which is a really good moveset for this current meta. Um, basically, the best Poison type that is non exile and doesn't have a Muck in his name. But um, we see already a defense drop, you're going to let this move go through. And we also see it's a single move Kadabra, which doesn't matter because Kadabra doesn't really learn anything better than this, I think. I don't think it learns Psy Shock. If it learns Psy Shock, maybe it would have been beneficial. I'm not sure about the moveset of Kadabra, you don't see it too often. But this actually, I think it has even more attack than uh, Alakazam, as far as I know, or like at least very similar stats. And while the opponent doesn't want to tap here anymore, the damage output is insane. Now they want to tap again. And we will see that also the damage that you take is insane. And the fire spin now, now going to be not successful. It's going to be a tie here with two shields on one side and one shield on the other side. And you see already, those battles are insanely fast. We are currently only sped up by 1.5, which is usually fairly low. Like usually I go up to like two times speed for my battles. Do you enjoy it a little bit more slower? I don't know. I don't know if my two times speed is too fast. But for those battles, definitely is um, working out a little bit better for that one because those are so fast already and I like this we're going to not really have the biggest Q times anyway. Here we're going to have now the um, what's called even in, uh, the Vigoroth. I, I'm always confused when someone has German on their game there because I'm German and I always like my brain cannot really swap between English and German the entire time. But here we're going to see already insane damage coming through and you're going to be able to farm down. In comes a Grand Bolt, you can swap out into your Ninetales, which is going to encounter oh, a Hexorus. This is not really ideal for you, but you can go ahead and go for the Psyshock straight away. But most likely they're going to shield this move up because they know that they can debuff you first now. And they will do that here. You're going to have to shield this move up. They're still over farmed a little bit. There's going to be actually only a Dragon Claw. Don't know why you run Dragon Claw with you at the community day. I guess they evolved it afterwards. You don't want to run Dragon Claw on this Pokemon. But they run Dragon Claw and Night Slash here, which is kind of hilarious. They didn't get the debuff. But look at this. Two were enough to knock out the opponent. A Shadow Ball comes through. And this Grand Ball gonna go down here. Boom. Bye bye there. That was a clear one shot. Kadabra's attack set is insane yeah. We're going to see a very good lead for you again, which is going to be the Sylveon. And also now uh, Blaster is coming in, which you're going to be able to farm all the way down as a wall here. So you're going to shield up the charge move, uh, yeah, charge move from the opponent. Going to be the, um, what's it called? I forgot the name in English again. The Hydro Cannon. As they're going to now see the opponent going into another evolution, which you're going to be able to go into your Ninetales now. This Ninetales is going to be definitely in a great spot here to farm them down. Very spicy team from the opponent here for sure. As we're going to see a leaf plate coming through, most likely, which is going to do a ton of damage, but you're still going to be able to win this game fairly easy here. I don't think the opponent really knows what they're doing here either, but definitely something that's so interesting to see. Kind of want to build one Kadabra for myself now as well. Like the, the damage of confusion is just insane for this cup as well. So here we're going to see two shields coming up, and we're going to now have the Sawiper, which just has to go for one poison thing. And I think one is already enough to knock them out. Because the Wipe has a pretty high attack, I think this might be enough. Let's take a look at this. It is not actually, and they are needing one more fast move, and they, then the opponent gonna go down here, which is pretty nice for you. Zorak here, a Pokemon that's also kind of funny to play in this meta because it can counter something like the um, Kovac Regus there. Sadly, I don't think it learns Night Slash, so Night Slash would have been better for this Pokemon. I don't think it learns Night Slash. I think it learns like Foul Play, Shadow Ball, and Flamethrower, and Sludge Bomb. But sadly, no Night Slash, which is something that definitely has to learn eventually. I really feel like that they should have gave him a little bit better of a moveset. But here we're going to see now the Light part with Charm. Not going to have the greatest time as well. But you're going to get out the Dark type now. And hopefully you can farm them all the way down. But now you're just going to go into your Nine Tails. Oh no, you're actually going to try to go for the full farm down. Yeah, I like this play. Just to showcase the insane damage output from Confusion. This is kind of insane. I think there's a little bit of an earlier gameplay as well here. Which is fair. We are not even that far into the season as well. A lot of players don't really play that much in the beginning as well. Because it basically cannot really hit Legend anyway right now. Definitely does make sense. We're going to here now see the body slam coming through from the opponent. Uh, from, yeah, from the opponent here with the uh, 
Uh, Vigoroth, you can go for the Poison Fang. This is a CMP tie. Pretty sure you are a better player though, because I see a lot of pretty decent plays here with like trying to go for a CMP tie. Uh, like swapping into the Pokemon directly that you need to swap in. Like you definitely have a little bit more knowledge there. So I think you just not played that many games this season yet. We're going to see now the Poison Fang coming through. We're not going to knock out the opponent, but a one more will be enough and you can now realign. Which will be pretty beneficial for you as you're going to be able to now get in your Kadabra against the opponent's Hexorus. Which will definitely not appreciate the incoming confusion damage here. As I see the opponent going for one charge movie that's going to debuff you of course. The breaking swipe but now the Grand Ball has to face the Ninetales. This is still not over yet. You're going to try to go for the full farm down here as your winning wincon here in general. But you have to take one charm still and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do this. You can do it but I think two counters will be enough. And yeah, you're going to go down from one more counter. Yeah, it's it's literally the ultimate glass cannon here, to be fair. This is just insane damage output from both sides. They always against this Pokemon. It's just kind of wild. Here we want to see now the Poison Fang coming through against the Machamp. Very good lead for you. You can actually just let this go through as well. But the opponent is going to swap out into a Pinsir. Very strong Pokemon in this meta right now as well. But you will be able to retaliate here with the Nine Hills, which is going to mostly take yeah, a superpower here, which is going to do a ton of damage. But you can still farm them all the way down. We have a move start here, which the incoming Machamp doesn't want to face either. And you still have your insanely hard hitting Pokemon there in the back with the, uh, um, what's it called, with the Kadabra. Which is actually just the same name in German as well, which is kind of confusing for me now because I always think, oh, what's the English name of it? But it's the same in German, like the same in English there. So, like, it's, it's a little bit weird. But actually, the evolution then changes. Like, uh, evolution is uh, like Alakazam in, Engl in English, but it's Simsala in German, which is kind of funny. Some German lesson here on the side while we see a Miltang, which definitely going to appreciate the Shadow Ball here. It's definitely something where you would need another charge move. But we will see here right now. This is going to do a ton of damage. And you see already also on the side, I think the IVs for the Alakazam, not, not the Alakazam, for the um, Kadabra here, is basically for something when you want to have an Alakazam later evolve because the IVs are not really ideal here. But the other IVs from the Pokemon are pretty fine. But here we're going to now see this Wiper against the Hypno. Hypno going to be also an interesting one, but we're going to see now the Clefable coming in. This is the cool thing about those Confusion users in this cup. If the opponent is something that like has a fast move that doesn't do a ton of damage, you're actually going to be in a, such a good spot just farming them down, because it can take some moves, and here the opponent is just getting farmed down. I mean, Clefable is a bulky Pokemon, but like, in Cadabra, like doesn't care at all. We now see the Melmetal coming in, which I actually completely forgot would have been available for this meta, but we see the shield coming up, of course, and the full farm down, but no, the Shadow Ball is still coming through. This is going to force another shield from the opponent, and we will see the knockout egg which is even wilder. Now it's only the Hypno left and you can go ahead and go into your Ninetales which will have a pretty decent time here but still not ideal you're going to try to catch a move which I actually like because now you have a move stored and you're forced to for the opponent to throw a charge move against you right now which is going to be the Thunder Punch is not enough you can go for one Poison Fang here Cove also went for the Crunch both of them would have been fine but Poison Fang gets the debuff here right now they're going to let this move go through so Crunch would have been definitely the play here but you can shield one move up and they cannot get to anything that's going to knock you out now anyway. So that's going to be a good game. Let's take a look at the next one. We're going to have here the Soul Wiper against the Umbreon. Fairly decent for you because you don't want to face it with your Kadabra in the back. Like Umbreon against Kadabra is literally a nightmare. Like you cannot do anything against it. Any Dark type is really difficult for you to deal with. But here we're going to see the Poison Fang coming through, going to do some pretty decent damage actually, putting them basically at half of the health already, while the opponent goes for the um, last resort here, for whatever reason, you will be able to go for another Poison Fang, very great timing there of moves all around. So yeah, this player is definitely knowing what they are doing, even though they are trolling around a little bit here right now, and the Elo is most likely not the highest, pretty sure that you usually had a higher Elo. As you're going to see now, the nine tits coming through, you can farm them all the way down. And now you got rid of the Dark type, which is amazing. And we're going to see the Machamp coming in, and we're going to see now Clefable in. And again, Clefable gonna not have the greatest time here as you can farm them all the way down. And the opponent already decides to forfeit. And you see already, we have 10 games here, and we have just a little bit more than 10 minutes, even though I didn't even speed up, up that much because those teams are just 
flying through there. They're just going to either, either you get knocked out pretty fast or the opponent gets knocked out pretty fast, which is kind of funny to see. Poison Fang coming through, gonna do a ton of damage against the opponent. You're going to catch a move here. Great play by you, because this is going to allow you now to absorb the, what's it called, Weather Ball. Yeah, it's a Weather Ball there. I just want to say Media Mesh because I read the German thing there, which is definitely what it says as well. But you will be able to go ahead and go for the Style Shock to get the shield from the opponent. But this is going to be a tough matchup for you now, because you have to go ahead and go into your Cell Viper and you have to shield this move up. This is not really ideal for you, because one turn fast move is going to be the death of the Kadabra. You would, maybe you're going to see it later on as well here. You're most likely going to see it now, because you're going to have to let this move go through here, I feel like. No, actually going to shield. Okay, I would have most likely let this move go through. But we will see if this was the right call, as it can go ahead and go for another charge move. Do they let this move go through? They do not, and you can go ahead and go for one fast move, but you see already how much chunks. This is insane damage just from a few Dragon Breath here. But in comes an Umbreon here, and this is going to be basically a good game. So yeah, this is going to be it for today's video. It's going to be a very fun and fast one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.